YouTube. It's been quite a while since I have spoken on YouTube or done any videos on YouTube. Um, I think 2020 was a bit of an interesting year for everyone. With lockdowns, with pregnancies, with different things going on. So this is one, this is my second trip of 2020 around Ireland and I'm really excited. We're going to go up north to just outside, well not just outside of Belfast, we're going to go to a spa resort called Galgorb and just indulge for two days. So I'm looking forward to taking my YouTube around and showing off Galgorb. It's an amazing place. We went there before um, and really liked it. We went there like three or four years ago and really liked it so I'm looking forward to going back and just indulging. The reason why we picked Galgorm is actually because most of the spa facilities are all outside and it's really big, it's really large and all the kind of health and safety precautions that they've taken in Galgorm seem to be pretty pretty good. So looking forward to going there and just indulging. We're there for two nights on a kind of spa resort, spa retreat package and um, yeah just looking forward to going and getting there and indulging and spying it up and being out in nature because it's in the countryside it's not in the city so i'm really really looking forward to that and that's really it so we'll check in with you when we get there so cute but yeah had breakfast chilled out done a bit of work on my laptop and now I'm just on the way to the spa for like a few hours I love it here though I really wish we were here for a little bit longer but two days is pretty good It was like a pregnancy massage, it was really good, um, but it feels so good now. And now I'm just outside in this pagoda. It's a lot less busy today. I say that and some people are just walking over. Um, but yeah, no, it's a lot less busy today and today is Tuesday. The other thing I just want to talk about is obviously having an outdoor spa area like this. Like It's huge, I'll give you a tour in a few minutes. But um, it makes sense during the current climate of coronavirus and just outside being a safer place to be to have the facilities here to immerse yourself in um, and even the hotel itself like it's really it's taking a lot of safety precautions like as you enter the hotel there's this machine I don't know how to explain it there's this machine that what is it it's like sanitization it's, it's, it's a sanitization unit so you step in and it like blasts you with all the chemicals I'm sure but it, they have that and then they have designated check-in times just so there's not a huge queue of people checking in at the same time and there's less people in one area in the lobbies and in you know when you're walking around not outside but when you're walking around inside you're asked to well you're advised to wear a mask and most people do and then the other things are all your dinner reservations they obviously all have to be reservations same with breakfast, all have to be reservations and any spa treatments that you're doing all have to be reservations as well so that there's no, um, no pile up of people at one certain time, they can allocate times and just make it be, well, there's not so many people in one area so as far as safety goes I would rate Galgorm quite highly and then as I said just having the facilities outdoors like this beautiful hot tub here and then loads of other 
places to roam and explore and just indulge. So yeah, very happy here and delighted to have come. checking in we had the most amazing day today and um, we finished up with dinner in the Fratelli restaurant which is an Italian restaurant that they have on site here and it is delicious the portion sizes are huge and very filling but so so good and I'm just like in a comatose state but yeah an amazing day and we're checking in tomorrow so talk to you then good morning so I am just on the way down for breakfast for the Last night, um, there's some nice views today, um, there's some more nice views, so yeah, a bit sad to be going but such is life, that's what I'm wearing, nice comfy clothes today. Um, on the last day we were told that for the checkout day you can't use the spa facilities or like the pool or anything so that's fair enough, they're trying to obviously limit the amount of people that are going to wherever. Um, so it's now. So yeah, I'll check in with you at breakfast time. So we are just about to check out. So I said really quickly, I do a room tour and I have a little bit of advice to give just regarding rooms. Um, so as you come in, this is the entranceway. We stayed in 506. And this is kind of the layout for these rooms. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you what it looks like. So as you come in, as I said, we're just checking out, so it's a little bit messy, but as you come in, this is what you see. You have a bathroom here, wardrobe here, tea and coffee making facilities there. Um, this is your bathroom, so you have a lovely bath. I didn't actually have a chance to have a bath in it. Some shelves, your sink, your toilet, and your walk-in shower. And a gorgeous huge mirror to see everything that you need to see. So then you come out here, there's another mirror here, there's fan, there's some place to put all your stuff down and then this is the room here. So bed's a little bit messy, that's our fault. And then sitting area, little TV desk area and then so each night these were left on our doorstep. Um, two bottles of water, two bottles of water and just some tea making facilities just so because they're not doing a turn down service at the moment obviously just to limit the amount of people going into your room. And then out here you have a little seating area. Now there is the, I'll go over here. So out here I think is the Serenity Gardens, just over here, so that's part of the spa. And then down here is where we had breakfast every morning, so that's where the, um, the little goat was that I showed you yesterday. And then over here is the Fratelli's restaurant, and then over there is the, the Grills restaurant, I can't pronounce it. But, it's a nice view here, but then I'm not into the houses, the car park and all this. And at night, you could hear these guys coming with trolleys and trays and everything. And it was just quite noisy. And then over there, we could hear people, people having a good time. So my advice would be, if you are booking a room here, ask for a thermal spa view or ask for a river view or a country view. Just ask for a room that's away from all the noise because if you're a light sleeper like me who's out of breath due to pregnancy, who, um, you probably might be woken up a little bit, but it's, you know, just close the door. It doesn't make that big of a deal, but if you're someone who appreciates the view, just indulge in it and 
pay a little bit extra for a better view. Um, otherwise, do I have any other things I want to say? If you want to say fresh towels or anything, you have to let them know at reception because at the moment they're not doing um, a room cleaning service every day. It has to be only when you're required. It has to be when you're out of the room and you know, again, to just limit the amount of people that are coming into your room. So that's really it. That's the room, that's the stay, and that's really everything I've got to say. Really enjoyed my stay here. Would love to come back, hope to be back. Um, next time I'll have a bath. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found some useful information. Hope you found some value in this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really like this content and this sort of thing about Irish vacations and Irish holidays and about Ireland, then go ahead and subscribe. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Got my arms and my legs Is that what it's gonna take to love you? Got my eyes and my ears Is that what it's gonna take to love you tonight? Got some preconceived notions About what it's gonna take to love you I got my head in the clouds Cause I'm about to love you So go